Hello everybody, my name is Sarah and today I'm going to be listing some laptops that you can buy for yourself or maybe a friend or family member over the holiday season. I'm going from least expensive to most expensive, so hopefully I'll cover everybody's budget. So let me just start off with this Asus Chromebook 202SA, a bunch of other letters and numbers, 11.6 inch ruggedized and water resistant laptop. Uh, it's got 4 gigs of RAM, Intel Celeron, so really basic, but it's a Chromebook. So you just want a laptop that will web browse and do basic text editing, maybe play a few games. This is perfect for you. Um, so like I said, it is the Chrome OS, so you can't use like Windows applications or anything like that. It's not a super like powerhouse, but... You know, for most people, this will actually work really well. Uh, see, drop test, blah, blah, blah. So, I guess it's the new rugged design. And there used to be an older model of this. I don't know if it's down here, like the recommended stuff. But that wasn't the rugged eyes design. I think this is it. But anyway, if you have, like, kids or something, and this is their first laptop, and you don't want to break in, or if you don't want them to break in, like, the first week, this will probably be ideal for you. So... If they spill something on it, it should, like, still hold up, you know. So you said spill resistant and children friendly keyboard. There you go. Uh, long battery life. So overall, not a real high-end laptop, but it will definitely get the job done, especially for a first laptop. Um, next up is the Dell Inspiron 15.6 inch touchscreen laptop for only $400. This thing has an i5, 6 gigabytes of memory, and a 1 terabyte hard drive, which is actually pretty good for $400. Um, now this is a step up from the Chromebook, so I would only say that you should get the Chromebook as like a secondary machine. But if you need a main machine and you don't have a whole lot of cash, this will probably be your best option. Uh, this is a Windows machine, so you'll be able to win run one. What does that even mean? Run Windows applications and do all that cool stuff on here. So here's the uh, Windows machine on a budget. Next up, this is what I would consider like a MacBook replacement or, you know, substitute if you don't want to buy into that Apple ecosystem, which I can't blame you because the new one is really overpriced for what you're getting. Um, it's the HP Spectre it x360 two and one um came out a few weeks ago i think maybe a month ago but it's got pretty good get wow that was bad it's got pretty good specs for the price 13.3 <clears throat> inch touchscreen. it's got an intel core i7 16 gigs of memory and a 512 gigabyte ssd which are not all specs i can say are true on the base macbook which is more expensive than this one so this is like the high-end premium Windows laptop if you're going for that. It's also got USB-C, so that's pretty cool. I think. Yep. Well, is that USB-C? Yeah, that's USB-C. Anyway, moving on to the last one. This actually might surprise you, but I would actually say that you should get the 13-inch macbook pro from last year's model so sadly they didn't really drop the price but you know it's apple so from the spec sheet obviously it doesn't have the best specs for a pro machine but you know it's got the apple operating system which comes with all that optimization and i would go with this over the new model because well first of all the price the new one's like really overpriced but this one has all these legacy ports that people are actually using. I can't think of a situation where you would actually need USB-C. So you're not really giving up anything except for maybe a little power, maybe a little design like update. But I think you're sacrificing way more to get the new one and you're paying more for it. So this is still, in my opinion, the better option to go with. It's not obsolete. Like... There's still a lot of these out there and a lot of people that didn't upgrade because it's just not worth it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this list. Uh, let me know if you liked it by liking it. And if you want to see more, subscribe.
all right so all right thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you on the flip side